in this video we are going to combine charts in trading view and i'm going to explain to you exactly how you can combine different charts in trading view why you should combine it and i'm going to give you some live examples of charts that are very good maybe even better than regular charts when you combine them so guys let's jump straight into it if you don't have a account yet over on trading view make sure to create an account i have a affiliate link down below and right now the black friday sale is coming this is the biggest sale for trading view where you can actually get up to 70 percent off from yearly plans plus even a free month i personally use trading view i also have a pro account and it's definitely the best program out there to use for your analysis now guys let's jump straight into it and let's just start off with combining a chart i think that's very uh, that's maybe the easiest way to start so one chart that I'm using myself that I'm combining is the stable coin dominance. Why? Well, we have US dollar theta, we have USDC, and both of them, the dominance of them is very good to use if you want to make Bitcoin price predictions. But if you combine them, these charts will give you a better overview, basically. So what we are going to do is we are going to do it like this. We do USDT dot d which is the us dollar theta dominance chart and then we're doing the plus sign so you don't click on anything you just do the plus sign you need to know these um short letters out of your head basically then we do usdc dot d and now you can see already the equation usdt dot t plus usdc dot d and we click on enter this is the chart of the stablecoin dominance combined us dollar theta and usdc why is this so interesting because you can actually draw patterns on this chart as well we have a very nice uh, for example right here we have a very nice kind of like a rising channel and as you maybe know or maybe don't know is that the stablecoin dominance has a inverse correlation with the bitcoin price because the lower bitcoin goes the more people are actually positioned in stable coins which basically means that you basically have to trade this chart the opposite so whenever this one goes up you want to short Bitcoin. And whenever this one goes down, you want to long Bitcoin. I'm just going to give you a small example. We can just add the Bitcoin chart on top of this chart. For that, we click on the plus button and we have Bitcoin already right here. We click on new price scale. And then you can see that we have added the Bitcoin chart right here to the stablecoin dominance chart, the USDT and USDC combined. So what we can see right here, for example, the moment that we top and that we come down, Bitcoin goes up. The moment that this one goes up, Bitcoin goes down. The moment that this one goes down, Bitcoin goes up. As you can see, there's a clear inverse correlation. Like this has been coming down, Bitcoin has been coming up. And this works in shorter term time frames too. So sometimes when you are doubting what's going to happen with Bitcoin, you can just open this chart and then you can basically see, oh, we are at resistance. Mm, Got to be careful right here. Oh, we are at support. Um, the stable dominance is going to go up. We might go down with Bitcoin, right? that's one way to use it the next one we are going to use it we are going to divide a certain chart and we are going to do that with the s p 500 and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to do the s p 500 which the ticker symbol is spx we are going to divide that with the m2 money supply why are we going to do that because the money supply is increasing right the s p 500 is also increasing but if the money supply is increasing at the more rapid rate then your purchasing power of the s p 500 is not increasing so sometimes you want to know whether the growth in the economy is real growth in terms of purchasing power or whether it is just inflated because new money is being generated right so that what we are going to do is spx which is the tick of s p 500 slash m2 we click on enter bring brings us to the next page uh, but what we can see right here for example is that the highs that we have been creating in 2007 2008 right before the housing market crash were not even close with the dot-com bubble top right here as you can see that was way higher but if we go to the regular financial markets guys then you can see right here that the year 2000 and the year 2007 
they are double top they are e equally at length but in terms of purchasing power this is not the case and that we can see then again in this chart this is the s p 500 divided by the money supply so now we can also see that the recent rally of the s p 500 is actually pretty legit because if you have been holding the s p 500 your purchasing power has significantly increased but that was not the case right here in 2007 2008 right you the s p might be at the same level and your portfolio might be at the same level but the newly created money that is flooding into the system is lowering your purchasing power and therefore you actually have way less value right here than you had in the year 2000 well another thing that we can do is for example we can look at the bitcoin dominance right and we can we can for example extract from the bitcoin dominance the us dollar tether dominance so what we can see right here is that it looks pretty similar than the regular bitcoin dominance this one is definitely a little bit lower it definitely looks a little bit different but these are ways that you can combine charts to increase your analysis and to get a better grip on the markets so guys it's that simple you can combine extract or add charts to each other you can overlay charts as i have shown you in today's video if you have any questions about this make sure to drop a comment in the comment section down below and if you have not yet got an account on trading view make sure to create an account with my affiliate link down below in the description as you will be able right now in the month or actually on black friday to get 70 percent off from yearly plans plus one free month of using trading view pro then for the ones who are interested in trading cryptocurrencies i'm using mainly bybit this is the by far the best exchange out there depending a little bit from which country you are tuning it if you join bybit with my affiliate link down below you can get a deposit bonus up to thirty thousand and twenty us dollars so if you are interested in that make sure to check it out i made many tutorials on bybit if you haven't seen them make sure to check them out as well but okay guys that was for today's video if you like this video make sure to leave a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to do so i want to wish you all a very pleasant day and i hope to see every single one of you in the next video